Previously on Banjo Tooie. Hey, baby. You want to roar with me tonight? Uh, can I actually make it? I don't think I can, but I'll try. I could have made it, but I didn't know which angle to go at. Oh well. It's alright, it's alright. This game's not going to destroy me for messing up in that fashion. I hope. So, what we need to do is we need to fly back to the top of the mountain. Okay, yeah, not that high, Kazooie. Now we can actually grab this egg. I need to fly though, so let's get a flying pad. This seems very, very, very freaking unorthodox to actually get all the way up there just by flying in here when I could just be jumping up there, but not much I can do about it. Oh god, that one's bigger. Yikes, she's a big girl, isn't she? Too right, she can't even fly. Hmm, I'm not sure if there will be room in our nest. You couldn't just hit it with one of those grenade eggs, could you? You heartless! Only joking, bring her back to me, and I'll work out an exercise program for her. I'll just go and find Banjo then. So yes, uh... You know, I was I was starting to like Terry, I really was, but then she brought up child abuse, and now I don't know if I can like her anymore. I just have a big, big problem with child abuse. That's a, definitely a no-no from me. They don't even joke about that kind of stuff with me. If you're a parent and you ever make a joke about child abuse, you're going to hear about it. <laughs> You are definitely going to hear about it. So anyway, um, let's uh, go ahead and get this next part done. What I'm going to do right here is I need to use Banjo to... If I can find the right place to land. Yeah, around here, anyway. Yep, I need to make it inside the Styracosaurus cave. Hopefully not die to this thing. And we need to actually take our sick little friend here. And take her somewhere else. Because she's not doing so hot. Or he. Actually, I don't even know. How a frickin' dinosaur frickin' uh, fits inside of a pack, I'll have no idea. But, we'll go with it. So now it's no longer called Banjo and Kazooie, it's uh... Banjo and Skrit. I think that was her name. His name. 
It was uh, scrit, scrut, and scrut. Now, one thing we'll have to do is we'll need to actually bring the train here. And look, the uh, dinosaur who we met in Witchy World is home. I hope Mom won't be too mad at me. Thanks for returning my lost child. She'll be cleaning out our cave for the next month as punishment. Uh, you see, kids, this is never why you go off on your own. Your parents will miss you, but when you get home, they're going to punish you for running away like that. Now we're going to put this dino in the uh, train, and we're going to actually help her out later, help him out. Again, I have no idea. I think it's supposed to be a guy, though, if I remember correctly. Now we need to make our way back up the mountain. Thankfully there's a warp pad we can use, so it's not going to be a very long trip. And after that, I think we just have to finish up the Rocknuts tribe, and then we're actually done. Yeah, that seems about right. Actually, no, I'm going the wrong way. This is the way we want to go. We want to head this way, towards progress. I'm trying to remember if we've gotten all of the rock nuts aside from that one, and I know where another one is, but... I don't remember if that's all of them yet. And see how fast this is, too? This is definitely the fastest way to saving all the kids. Although I guess having one in Oogle Boogles, especially right there, wouldn't be a bad idea. Because Banjo was technically there already. Although, to be fair, not normally will you be such far apart from Kazooie to actually do this stuff. So, let's go ahead and pick up this child. This is going to be two dinosaurs you've had in your pack in the last uh, three minutes, Banjo. There's going to be a, probably a lot of kids out there who are going to be jealous, who's always wanted to carry around a portable dinosaur. Oh, nope! Pfft. Oops. Didn't mean to fall down there. Shouldn't really leave holes in your nest, Terry. And there we go. That's the last one. Thank goodness Kazooie won't want to see another egg for the rest of the game. Here's the other half of your reward, as promised. Thank you, Terry. Really appreciate it. That's three jiggies you've given me in this level. Three. Not that I'm complaining, it's very, very nice and generous of you, but almost one-third of the level has been just thanks to you. Although I guess it is called Terry Dactyland, so... Guess you can't really expect too much. Uh, how are we doing, by the way, for our totals? 
Five Jiggies. Let's see. We have Dippy. We have Rock Nuts. We have that one and that one. No, no, there's just one there. Uh, Oogle Boogle. There's definitely another one I'm missing. Oh, the family. Right, of course. Okay, so... Family, Oogle Boogle, Rock Nuts, Dippy, and the one I'm going to go for now. We'll get uh, this one and then uh, the Rock Nuts and then we'll be done. Actually, I still need to get Kazooie, don't I? No, oh, no, I did. I got her. Never mind. So, yes, let's actually go over here towards this uh, cave that we haven't really touched yet. Oh, God, yeah. Sure. Oh, d d d no, 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 no. Ah, dang it. Stupid frickin' dinos. Actually, that's okay, because... Oh, yeah, there's a warp pad right here, so... Unlike in Banjo-Kazooie 1, dying doesn't reset everything. Thank God. That would be frickin' torture if it did. Uh, yeah, let's try this again. Let's... Yeah, let's use grenade eggs just to finish him off. So we can even hit this one. Got it. Okay. Let's try this again. <laughs> we'll never actually have to walk this walkway ever again. Which, hey, I'm fine with that. So what do we have? We have fire. Through the fire and the flames, we'll definitely carry on. Oh my god, really? And yep, I have to start back here again. Oh, that sucks. There we go. Jeez, I swear. You die once, you die too many, and then you end up dying again. <laughs> this game in a nutshell. So here we have the Stomping Plains. This area is kind of interesting. Because... We're dealing with some big feats. Or at least some big footprints. Nope, there's the foot, too. So let me go ahead and say, Stomposaurus, he's dangerous. He's dangerous, and you have to avoid him. There's no way you can fight him. Fighting him would be, honestly, really stupid anyway. And as you can tell, he really packs a punch when he does stomp you. Thankfully, we have the Wonder Wing, which does protect us from any of his attacks. And by doing that, we can get this Jiggy. Now notice, there is a Banjo Switch and a Kazooie Switch. That's right, there is actually more to this. We unfortunately cannot do this with Banjo alone. Yet. We will be able to at some point, but for now... You can really only do it with... 
Banjo and Kazooie and just Kazooie. Ouch. Well, I had one health left, so no wonder. Let's try this again. I think I kind of went a very long route anyway. Ow, oh, shoot. I only did one damage? It's supposed to do all of your damage until you have one health left. Yeah, see, like that. Okay, not really sure why that didn't work, but... Either way, here we here we go for yet again another black Jinjo. <laughs> all, almost all five Jinjos were black. The other one was brown. Uh, wow. That that does tend to happen, though. I guess I'm not really that surprised. But my God, they're really throwing those black Jinjos at us now. And you know what? I don't know why I'm going this way. Uh, let's just die again. This way I have all my health back, too. So really, this wasn't necessarily a bad move. And now we need to take care of the Rock Nuts tribe. After we do that, we should be done with this world. I have to admit, this world was actually kind of fun doing it this time for you guys. I normally don't have this amount of fun with it. I think it's also kind of good that I actually had a plan in place. Because I knew I wanted to take care of, like, the Terry stuff immediately. And then not long after, do the Banjo, Kazooie, and, uh... I don't even remember what I'm talking about now. Oh, uh, not Banjo-Kazooie, the Mumbo and uh, Wumba stuff, that's what I meant. There's another Rocknut tribe member in there, so let's go ahead and take care of that. I think we only have one more after this guy. Boom. Yep, okay. And I know where that one is. That's the guy who's all by himself on that ledge. I could have actually got rid of that guy, the guy who just taken care of, like, much earlier, but... I didn't really think about it. Let's, uh... Do I want to go back this way? Yeah, I might as well, because I believe the flying pad's this way. Oh, oh, wow. I'm actually surprised I hit him right there. I'll take it. I'll take it to the bank. There's also a lot of stuff we can do in uh, going back to other worlds and taking care of things. I think we can actually finish uh, Glitter Gulch Mine now. In fact, that's probably what I'm going to do, and I'm also going to take care of a few uh, loose ends around the Isle of Hags as well. Oh wait, no, not that far. Not that far, Banjo, we're here. It's this place right here. This guy should be a lot easier now that we're actually on the right side. Apparently you can actually grab your way over here. Arg! not believe you beaten all Rock Nuts tribe. We let you have shiny rock. Well, thank you for the shiny rock. I appreciate it. It was good. We had a good time here. I think we got everything. Yep. Yeah, just those three jiggies. We could actually take care of the... Uh, family, the family of uh, Styracosauruses, but 
I think I'm going to put that on hold for right now. Although I guess I can do this stuff in the overworld relating to that. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Wooded Hollow. Wooded Hollow will be the first place we go. And we're going to pay a visit to Heggy. Because we have some eggs for her, and we also have an egg we can hatch. Clock! Heggy the hen! Clock! Find special egg! Clock! Got both special Heggy eggs. Piece of cake, actually. Clock! Skinny bird, Heggy's hero. Clock! Throw them in nests. Okay, there's one, and there is the other one. As you can see, there is a third one up there. Clock! Watch Hecky hatch! Oh god. You move way too slow for your own good. Clock! Special Hecky Egg Award! Homing eggs! Clock! Very nice! Clock! Go to Cheeto Code Room and enter homing to enable feature. The second one. Cluck! Special Heggy Egg Award. Briegel Bash. Cluck! Press B and B again for Skinny Bird Bash. Cluck! So funny. So funny. That doesn't sound funny to Kazooie because... Ah. Why does Kazooie tolerate that? It's gotta hurt! Well, hey, whatever. Let's just hatch this egg and go. Cluck! Special Heggy Egg Award! Jinjo as multiplayer character. Cluck! Who is Jinjo? <laughs> so basically, that's for the multiplayer minigame mode that you can do outside of the main game. Nothing really that special. Honestly, the only reward really worth it is the homing eggs, but I feel like that reward is like really, really cheap. So I am not going to turn those on. I just I just feel like that breaks too much of the game, so I'm not going to be using that. But I did unlock it for those who uh, want to see it, and I think you can only use it when you unlock it. I don't think if you just type in homing you'll get it, so remember that.